As one of Paramount's biggest series, Yellowstone has captured the hearts of fans all over the world. Successful as the neo-western drama is, it's hard to imagine that the show's creator stepped down from TV dramas is what led him to where he is now. In today's episode, we'll be sharing with you what we know about Yellowstone creator Taylor Sheridan as he opens up about his decision to quit other TV shows. Let's dive in. Firstly, before becoming Yellowstone's showrunner, Taylor Sheridan and acted in front of the camera in several series. Although Taylor Sheridan is a household in the entertainment industry and is known as a director, many people are not aware of his beginning as an actor and even starred in well-known dramas such as Texas Ranger, Veronica Mars, Walker, and Sons of Anarchy. It was during these times as an actor that he was inspired to create Yellowstone, although interestingly in a way that most of us would not have thought. So what was his last role in front of the camera before he he quit. His last work as an actor was on Sons of Anarchy, where he played Chief Deputy Chief David Hale for two seasons before electing to leave, which resulted in his character being killed off of the tragic season three opener. Recently, he finally shares his story on why he quit TV shows in an interview with Deadline. The actor turned writer reflected on his time on the program and the events that led him to reassess his career and start writing for himself in a new interview. He told Deadline that when he asked for a raise, studio executive executives turned him down, reminding him how far down the call sheet he was. Sadly, a salary dispute made him quit his gig at Sons of Anarchy. The then actor had done the first two seasons of Son of Anarchy at the guest star rate, which he thought was a little unfair. As a result, he addressed management and asked for a fair compensation. However, he said that the show's producers offered him a wage that was half of what they were giving the other 14 series regulars, ahead of season three. When he asked for the same pay, the producer said that he wasn't worth it and quit, which turned out to be for the better. What's worse, it turns out his attorney downplayed his value, which made him walk away from acting for good. When my attorney said, look, there are kids on the Cartoon Network making more than you're offering this guy. This jerk business affairs attorney goes, he probably deserves to make more, but we're not going to pay him more because guess what? He's not worth more. Sheridan recollects of the time, there are 50 of him, he is 11 on the call sheet. That's what the guy is and that's all he's ever going to be. From there, he further added that the incident triggered him to leave because of how the business saw him. Let's replace him with someone cheaper. And I decided that I didn't want to be 11 on the call sheet for the rest of my life, the Yellowstone creator concluded. He handed in his resignation and moved behind the camera shortly after. He wrote the critically acclaimed thrillers Sicario, Hell or High Water, and Wind River before Yellowstone. For 15 years, I'd been banging my head against the wall. I'd eked out of a living because I wouldn't say it's what I dreamed of doing. I didn't do a lot of work I was proud of, said Sheridan. And if that wasn't enough, he also needed to provide for his growing family because he and his wife were expecting a son at the time. I just couldn't imagine seven years from the child being born, me telling him that you can be anything you set your mind to, son, but I can't make your soccer game because I have a Wendex audition. I just wasn't going to do it, so I quit acting. Sheridan had secured a position at a dude ranch in Wyoming, even though the set wouldn't allow families on the property at the time. As a result, Sheridan's wife and son joined him in Pine where they stayed in a travel trailer, which wasn't the most pleasant makeshift home for the family. However, his ranching plans were put on hold to work on mayor of Kingstown shortly after quitting as an actor. Sheridan's ranching aspirations were put on hold when he decided to develop a story idea with his buddy Hugh Dillon, claiming that he knew what he was supposed to do. Even though the film didn't get made for another decade, he was inspired to write the first episode of what became Paramount Plus's Mayor of Kingstown the next day. His lawyer was inspired by this script and forwarded it to a few agencies and producers, resulting in a feeding frenzy that netted Sheridan an agent and literary manager. So how did he land Yellowstone in Paramount Plus? Yellowstone premiered in 2018 and in the four years since then, it has not only surpassed audience records, but has also been crowned the most watched cable show. It produced several spin-offs, including 1883 and the planned 1932 film 1883, the base Reeves story, as well as 6666. But back to Yellowstone, Sheridan struggled a lot with how to pitch. Yellowstone, since no 
nobody wanted the series. After HBO bought, then rejected Yellowstone, one now former HBO executive informed him that the show is not HBO, adding that it is not classy, not innovative, feels like a throwback, and worst of all, very boring. Yellowstone, according to the representative he spoke with, appears to be something they've seen previously. Worse, the struggling writer tried and failed to have the project picked up by TNT, FX, and Netflix, but nobody would touch it. At least not until Keith Cox, now the head of MTV Entertainment Studios' creative division, gave him a 10-episode commitment to air the show on what was then known as Spike TV. Before its 2018 rebranding as Paramount Network, but Sheridan was adamant about not doing it there. He told Cox he couldn't have it since he didn't know how to do it. He also told the new boss that he'd never done anything like this, which was a $100 million show with 40 horses, and that they'd have to shoot it all in Montana. Sheridan also noted that they can't shoot this in New Mexico while pretending to be in Montana, so they'll have to shoot somewhere where the entire crew will be staying in a hotel. If that wasn't enough, he then instructed him to go find a movie star, which was a lot for his debut show, which he ended by claiming wasn't the one for Cox. Keith Cox, on the other hand, stood firm, whereas Sheridan recalled how much they believed in it and promised to make it the way he wants. Cox even claimed that this is the most creative freedom he'll ever have. Fortunately for the former actor, Keith Cox fulfilled his word and Yellowstone is now what it is. Up next is Yellowstone's creator. Sometimes Taylor Sheridan takes a few acting roles only when the need arises. While Sheridan has appeared on screen in two of his productions so far as a horse merchant named Travis Wheatley in Yellowstone and a rancher named Charles Goodnight in 1883, he claims it was only because he had no other options. He added that the only time people see him perform is when I've written a role for someone doing something on a horse and they can't find an actor to play it, which is when he taps in. And now, despite his achievements in several hit TV shows, Taylor Sheridan believes he has no knowledge about making it. Despite having nine scripted TV projects in development and nine more in the works, the critically renowned screenwriter and filmmaker maintains he has no experience making television. He went on to state that he shoots everything on the Alexa, which is the same camera he used on two Two of the movies he authored, Sicario and To Hell in High Water. He claims he's never had a tone meeting, unlike other TV creators, and jokes that he should take the Writers Guild of America's showrunner class. Rather than thinking of his efforts as TV shows, he describes them as 10-hour movies that I cut up and broadcast in one-hour increments. Finally, what else is Taylor Sheridan working on? Sheridan debuted two new shows in less than a year, the Yellowstone prequel, 1883, and the Jeremy Renner-led prison drama, Mayor of Kingstown. During the fourth season of Yellowstone, Sheridan previewed the future spinoff 6666. The Four Sixes Ranch in Texas will host this series. It is scheduled to launch in 2022. Those four series, however, are only the beginning of Sheridan's plan. Sheridan said on February 15th that he is working on five new series. So far, four of them have significant movie stars tied to them. Sheridan's declaration came after it was announced that he was working on a film with Sylvester Stallone called Kansas City. The Tulsa King has replace the series about an East Coast mobster who relocates to the Midwest. And unfortunately, we've run out of time to talk about Taylor Sheridan's other works, so we'll be ending today's video on this note. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. And we'll see you the next time. Thanks for watching.